the last thing was kind of stupid that I bought that, but I really didn't think much about it. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Veronica. I'm a Bavarian living in the United States. You might have noticed that there has not been a video for, I think, four or five weeks now by the time this will be uploaded. And if you follow me on Instagram, which if you don't, you really should, but if you do, you already know that I've been in Germany for three weeks. I've already been back for a whole week now, but I've really been struggling to get back into any kind of routine and to get myself back in front of the camera, but I made it today. So I'm really happy about that. All right, for today's video, I thought we could do something fun and I'm just gonna show you all the things I brought back from Germany. Obviously, none of the things are really like, um, Überlebensnotwendig? Überlebens? Essential for survival. So obviously none of the things are essential for survival, but since my suitcase only weighed around 34 pounds out of the 50 you're allowed to take when I left the US, I thought I might as well bring back some things we really enjoy. That would be candy, even though I promised my husband I wouldn't bring any back. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna show them all in this video because he has not seen it yet but we'll see so most of the items are just way cheaper than they are here in the united states and i think you can always argue whether or not it's worth it to bring them but since i had room in my suitcase and the carry-on i thought i might as well the first item is cotton rounds they're super light so i figured i would just grab some i've been meaning to buy this here in the us before i had even planned on going to germany but they've been sold out for, I don't know, weeks or even months. And since they don't weigh anything, I thought I'm just gonna grab some. I think I brought a total of three. They're gonna last me forever because I don't even use them to like take off my makeup. I only use them to um, undo my nails. They are so much cheaper in Germany than they are in the United States. One pack um, of 140 pieces is only 85 cents and in the united states i looked it up 100 a pack of 100 is over two dollars i really wish i would not have packed that much clothes because then i would have been able to bring more beer with me i was only able to bring six i think it was six or eight six bottles of that beer because it's obviously heavy it's in a glass bottle um and you can obviously only pack it in your big suitcase uh, and not in the carry-on. So yeah, I was limited on that and I really wish I would have traded in clothes for more of that beer. That's our favorite beer in Germany. It's from a local brewery. The next item is Bella's treats. I do bring them back from Germany every time I go because she does not eat the American version of the same product. They are from the same brand, but she does not eat them. The next item again was for price reasons, trash bags. I was so shocked kind of when I saw how much trash bags cost in the United States and I just can't get myself to pay that much money to be honest. Um, I brought uh, I think four of these, there are 40 pieces in there and they will last us probably, I don't know, nine months at least. We have a really small trash bin, um, not very American size, so we do take out the trash every other day, obviously before it starts smelling bad, but it usually um, fills up within like two or three days. So they should last us quite long. And yeah, like I said, the reason for that was also the price because 40 pieces are um, 65 cent in Germany versus the same amount and even a little smaller than these are, in the United States cost $3.34. The next item is my favorite dry shampoo. Again, same reason, it's just way cheaper in Germany. The price difference is almost $4. It's very expensive in the first place, so I really try to not use it that often. Then I also always grab a few of these. Um, that's my favorite deodorant, and I know it's not aluminum free, I'm aware of that, but I just have not found a different one that I like and that works. So yeah, I always grab a few of these just because it works. The next thing is my favorite shower gel. That's obviously um, 
not to save any money that's really just to treat myself because i like the scent so much i brought back three it was a pack of three so i grabbed it because it was on sale in the supermarket yeah we've actually been using bar soaps only since october last year and fun fact, I find that there's such a better variety of bar soaps available in the United States than there are in Germany. So the next item has something to do with what I already mentioned in my last video, the liquid sweetener. And since I promised Leighton that I would bring back as much beer as possible, I just had to choose whether I brought back sweetener or beer. But then while I was in the store, I had this amazing idea of just grabbing a bunch of those they barely weigh anything it's the sweetener pills so the same thing just not liquid Leighton already uses them in his coffee but my idea was to just dissolve them in water and then I would have at least something similar to the liquid sweetener and I know that um, sweetener is available in the United States too to be honest while I was at the store I didn't even think about that but it's still so much more expensive than those are one of these costs only how much was that one of these only costs 85 cent and the ones you can buy and I looked for the cheapest ones are over four times or even five times more expensive than these are so I guess either way it's a win the next thing I kind of regret that I brought it we'll find out later but it's milk rice I have no idea if there's a translation for that, we just call it milk rice. And what it is, it's short grain rice, which we cook in milk. I think you add a little bit of sugar so you make it sweet. And it's just so delicious. And the reason why I regret that I brought this, because it's obviously pretty heavy. One pack of this is 500 gram. I brought two. So that would have been another bottle of beer I could have brought. I was at the store and I was like, ah, let's grab some milk rice. Uh, I haven't had that in forever. But when I did some research, I actually found something. It looks very similar. It's called, it's called Bolton Kelrose rice. I have no idea if it's going to cook the same. Again, this is labeled as milk rice and the other one is just short grain rice, but it looks almost just like that one. So I'm definitely going to give it a try. Or if you're a German living in the United States, have you tried that? Um, Bolton Kelrose rice um, to make milk rice. Please let me know if you know if it works because it's only available in a five pound bag and if it doesn't work, I kind of don't want to buy it. But yeah, that was another item I brought back from Germany. The next thing is Ricola apple mint. Mint? Yeah. These I really just bring back because we like them. Those are Leighton's favorite. Um, there are the original Ricola and the Ricola Lemon, I think is the flavor. We really like those two, but you know, you always want the things that you can't have. I just grabbed a few of these and the last thing was kind of stupid that I bought that, but I really didn't think much about it. I was in the store and just grabbed it, probably because it's so cheap. It's instant vanilla pudding. Again, I didn't even think about whether or not that was available in the United States because it is. But again, this is much cheaper in Germany. Um, I did the math just to justify why I brought it back and instant vanilla pudding is three times more expensive than it is in Germany. I don't really care that I brought it. Again, it would have not been necessary. Now that I think about it, I could have just left it with my family. I don't know. I had everything piled up when I packed my suitcase and just try to make it fit and since there's not really a weight limit on the carry-on bag I just filled it up until it was full with the heaviest things and there was still room so I put it in there so that's it for the non candy things I so that is all the candy I brought back so all that link chocolate you can see right here and also that one right here you can even see the price tags all of the link chocolate was 50% off how can you not buy it if it's 50% off? And in my defense, um, I had already bought all of those, the Ritter Sport and the Milka, before I saw that amazing deal. I could just not resist, I mean, and yeah. It really, I feel like when you spread it out like that, it looks more than it is, doesn't it? I don't know. It's just some different uh, flavored Haribo's. 
some I've never had myself, so I just really wanted to try it. They are, I think these are like the same ones, just that's the sour version of it. Um, and these are so good. And then just some classics the frogs and the cherries you can see in the back and yep that's it so would you say that's a lot i don't think it is to be honest let me know in the comments below how long you think this will last i'm really gonna try to restrict myself and not eat too much uh we'll see how that works I already ate one pack of gummy bears. <laughs> hey guys, this is Editing Veronica. Um, I decided to do a little Instagram giveaway. One lucky person who lives in the US will be winning this candy packet. Just go over to my Instagram to find out what you have to do in order to participate in the giveaway. Um, since it makes only sense to do this for the people living in the US, I might consider doing another giveaway for the people who live in Germany with American candy. If you guys want to, just let me know in the comments below. Yeah, that's it for today's video. Again, it was just supposed to be something fun to talk about, um, something easy to get back into the game of recording videos. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below what you bring back from Germany or any other country you travel to. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to my channel and turn on the notifications so you don't miss any future videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.